Hello everybody, this is Seth Eisen. welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we did Pokemon Mansion and got a new team member. And in this part, I better go heal. Because we are about ready to do the gym. Yes, I would like you to heal my Pokemon. Here's a question I haven't asked everyone that might, may or may not watch my videos. How's everyone been? I actually have not recorded anything by myself in a little while. There's been a multitude of reasons, and I don't want to get blab about it, but let's talk to you. I'm still champ in the making, sweet. Hot-headed? That's... Ah... Uh, you're precursoring an infamous line, aren't you? Well, we have two real options to go with. And we have one who isn't bad in terms of a backup, in case either of them falter, but... Here's the gimmick, talk to him. You can skip the trainer battles if you want by answering questions, but... I kinda wanna battle everybody, because this is experience you can't really get back. Uh, you are an intimidator. Crap. Lily. But I've been very busy of late. And then when that hasn't happened, depression's kicked my ass a little bit and anxiety's kicked my ass a lot. But hey, it happens. This has nothing to do with autism, it's just a, a pods pods of shit. Yes, for the record, I do have autism. So what of it? I'm a normal human being. I go through my own shit. It's not something that they'll... I mean, this is gonna get serious for a minute, but... Because this is just a normal Pokemon battle. But you really shouldn't vilify any kind of mental ailment or quirk. It's like, oh! People are starting to understand that with depression and anxiety a little bit more. But... When it comes to autism, not so much. In some ways, we're still shunned a little bit. At least, I, I do feel that. But there's nothing... I mean, but we're normal human beings. At least, I like to come across as such. I don't know if all of my actions have been totally normal <laughs> on these videos. I have a weird sense of humor. But, hey. We have things that we're good at, and things that we're not good at. That's human nature. But the door opens. Let's just skip him for a minute and let's just answer the question here quick. Just so you can get the idea of the gimmick. I can just go back and heal. No! There are way more than nine overall, but... But you can answer any question over and over and over again. But I just want to hit no again. <laughs> no! But I'm going to fight you for fun. I'm going to fight that guy for fun, too. Because you never say no to free experience. But, yeah. Back to the autism thing for a minute, there. I was diagnosed a little late. I was diagnosed at 19. I'm 27 now. I kind of... It's just what I live in a state of West Virginia. We're not the most well-aware medical state in the world, to say the very least. Even though WVU is a good doctor program, the government, however, is not very good about things like that. Never have. And as I'm recording this on the 26th, speaking of the government, the teachers are indeed on strike. I think this is going to be uploaded on Wednesday to the 28th. So I don't. I don't know if it'll be continuing, but I do want to at least verbally bring my support to the teacher strike on another form. Because they've been underpaid and understaffed and underappreciated for way too long. But I live right on the Maryland border. They could just jump to the border of Maryland and get paid a whole hell of a lot more if there's an opening there. It's pretty ridiculous. 
But, yeah. My state's not that great about things like that. Never has been, and I don't think it ever will be. Because we're just behind with the times on that, unfortunately. It's a shame. If you have a power to do something good in the world, you really should do it. In that case, it's not going to get a lot of experience, unfortunately. Anyway! But just, things are what they are. It's, it's, again, like I said many times, it's a bit of a shame. Good news is, you do not have Intimidate. Well, I mean Flash Fire. You do have Intimidate. It just tried to intimidate me into attack. And really enough, Jesus Christ, the flamethrower, yo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That is a powerful flamethrower, buddy. Rah! I have not battled those trainers off screen yet. Partially out of laziness, but partially out of. Eh. Things have happened. But I will battle them off screen. The surf trainers and all that crap. I hold the king to the throne of might. But, hey, things are what they are sometimes. And I don't mind... I don't mind earning the autism card like, on a forum like this anyway, because that's just what I am. I am what I am. It is what it is. And I, there was a point in my life where I, I do... I felt guilt about it, but now it's just... Well, it's just a part of me. It's not everything that defines me, though, even though I've talked about it for the last several minutes. As I, I'm sure the over 120-plus Pokémon videos have shown, autism has not defined me, but my memorization of certain things of Pokémon, or one thing autism is good for. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, hey, we're going to see a lot of the Ninetales family, the Arcanine family, and some of the Ponyta family. That's okay. And when I go heal after feeding all these grunts, I'm going to pull up Link's move set in Pokémon. Because... I forgot to prepare this beforehand! Ain't I smart! <laughs> says. Da, na, 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 na. You just do. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I do question Blaine's practices in hiring gym grunts, though, because look at all these burglars that he's got. <laughs> oh, this is my last dig. Oh, oh well. I will have to switch to something else. Also, level 41. That's not bad. That's a decent level. Not the biggest fan of the Ponytail Rapidash family, but that's a decent level at least. Come on! Boom. Uh, I'm gonna do something dumb. Let's let's just test this thing out entirely. This will be interesting. I know why Flame became a trainer. Ooh. Derek. Oh, you have a rapid ash. Okay, then. Why are you not using a fire type move? Why did you not use a fire type move? I'm using a grass type. What the hell? Go to sleep. You're so sleepy. Now I'm gonna eat your dream. <laughs> Yummy. By the way, I apologize for the last two parts having music cut out. There was just a problem in recording. Okay, I liked it better when you didn't use fire moves because you used fire spin. Also, wow, you really weren't asleep very long. Oh well. You used fire spin! Yeah, takedown's better than fire spin! Fire spin's such a horrible move! So's whirlpool! Back in the day, the first 
generation, they were awesome! But not now! They kinda suck. Derek lost the game again. Actually, why did Bling become a trainer? That's actually a good question. Lost in the mountains, but good. Moltres? Oh! He was rescued by the fire Pokemon Moltres. That's actually a really good story. This one suits your style the best, huh? But that's actually some really interesting lore. Granted, I kind of think this darker purpose is Mr. Fuji and, and Blaine helped create you too. I've gone over that theory before. It's a dark one. It's really dark. <laughs> Go to sleep. You're so sleepy. Eat your dreams. Cause you're so sleepy. Yeah. Critical head. Yeah. And a Growlithe. Also, you just saw Dream Eater's regenerative properties there. They are very nice. Another reason why... I'm, I don't know why I've never used this family, but it turns out this is a really good user of the Sleep Powder Dream Eater combo. I mean, it's even better than Hypnosis, because you know, Sleep Powder has better accuracy. I don't know why, I, again, I don't know why I've never done it before. It's not the usual role for a Psychic to play, but it's because it's combined with some of the properties you have in Grass Pokémon. But it definitely works! It's doing pretty damn well for itself. Okay. That's the... That... We got one more. Okay. H2... <laughs> That's some high quality H2O. I may or may not have watched Water Boy. Back before Adam Sandler got too ridiculous. And some of those movies were ridiculous to begin with. Happy Gilmore was good, though, in terms of making me laugh and how stupid it was. It's just so stupid. Have you had enough? <laughs> no, now you've had enough. Fucking fighting Bob Barker. <laughs> I did say I would try to cut back on swearing, but that was warranted because Happy Gilmore was very foul-mouthed. <laughs> Oh, God. And I'm beating Fire-type Pokémon with my Grass-type. This is awesome. Oh, Zack, you're not having a good day, are you? Because Fire is usually really good against Grass-types, but I'm not letting you have a chance to show it off. And if you did, I wouldn't want you using a crappy move like Fire Spin. Fire Spin sucks, man. Bye bye, Vulpix. Murder. Uh, Vulpix is cute though. It really is. And now that's the gym leader, but I'm gonna go heal, so I will be right back. As I run into the wall. And we are back! Also, what did these machines do? Nothing? That, that just lends my theory to the Blaine Fuji creating new two thing. Anyway, let's, I'm gonna start, this is my team. Aerodactyl's not gonna be of much use right now, unfortunately, but let's talk. Ha! I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabon Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready to, with the intense heat. <coughs> they incinerate all challenges. Ah! You better have burn heal! That was a horrible green impression, I know, but hey. It is what it is. No, no. Alright. My phone just kinda decided to be an asshole there. Okay. Leader Blaine would like the battle! He's always gonna start with this Growlithe! Level 42! 
Intimidate for the ability, Bite, Roar, Take Down, and Fire Blast. His gimmick is Fire Blast. As of this generation, the strongest fire type move in the game. It's a little more inaccurate than Flamethrower, and it has less PP, but it does more damage. Down goes the Growlithe. That wasn't too bad. But here's where the Fire Red Leaf Ring level jump starts to come in. Ponyta! It's not gonna come in here, but it's gonna come in later. Flash Fire for the ability. Don't use a Fire type move on it. Stomp! Bounce! Fire Spin and Fire Blast! Let's just not waste any time. That's some high quality H2O. Lane is not that hard. Because you have to have a water, almost have to have a water type move of some sort to get here. Rapid Ash, level 42, flash fire for the ability. Stomp, bounce, fire spin, and fire blast. Same moveset as the Ponyta. It's not really complicated. It's a very simple team. It was fire spin, and it missed. Rapid Ash could survive one. But it didn't. Okay then. And now, last and certainly not least, Arcanine, level 47! This is the level jump! Bite, roar, take down, fire blast, intimidate for the ability. It has the same moveset as the Growlithe that we fought earlier. That sounded a little motor mouth, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Ooh! By the way, that Arcanine sprite is a bit more vicious than pretty looking. Wow! Unstable just wrecked your shit! And he didn't even get a low for it! Wow! Okay! I have burned down to nothing! Not even ashes remain! You have earned the Volcano Match! I have not done a voice for a gym leader in a while. I just felt like going on the plane. <laughs> ah! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon! Here, you can have this too! TM38 Fire Blast. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique! Don't waste it on water, Pokemon! And... He thinks Vulpix and Charmeleon are ideal, but I still prefer Flamethrower. It's definitely not a bad TM, though. Now, we're going to exit the gym, and then something that was not in the original game is going to happen. It's a little different, if my memory serves me correctly. Hello, Bill! Yeah, I can recognize that sprite anywhere. Yeah, I am. Um... What kind of time? One island. Okay. You know what? What the hell? Let's do it. Oh. Nice timing. Nice timing. Whee! Nah, nah. This is one island. That was very good of a description. Celio, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be a good thing to just do. What a center! Ooh, remix! <laughs> it sounds much technological. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Ah, a PC maniac. And I'm a rising contender, huh? I'm the contender. Gary has no chance in hell against me. Ah, fair enough. Very well. No, 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 no. Too remote, huh? Alright. Ooh. Ah? Two islands. Game Corner? Rare Rocks and Gems. Is it Steven? 
Sure. The Meteorite. An item from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald that carried over. Yay! I got a Tri-Pass! That means I can go to Island... Islands 1, 2, and 3. Yay! And an extra page of the town map, which describes the, uh... Okay, catch you later. Now, let's actually... I almost never look at the town map, but now it might not be a bad idea to look at it. Now it's updated with the islands. We have a lot of things that we can do. So, I actually think now is a decent place to leave off. In this Pokemon Center in one island, a strange... Yeah, and that's your, that's your key. No PC services, you're stuck with the team that you got. Anyway, this is a good place to wrap up. I've been Seth Eiser, you've been you, and I bid you do for now. See you later.